okay so the whole point here is that it doesn't really matter what kind of laptop you are using it could be a macbook or it could be a windows pc it doesn't matter because we are not working on them uh, throughout the training videos you would find that you are working mostly on the remote linux machine rather than working directly inside your laptop so whenever you want to work on a linux machine you use your laptop uh, open the git bash or open the macbook terminal application uh, ssh into the remote linux machine by running the ssh command and then you will work on that remote linux machine so once you logged into the remote linux machine whatever commands that you execute they run inside the remote machine not inside your laptop so that is important so let me show you after i logged into the remote linux machine and as you might have expected you know the remote linux machine would give you only a command line there is no graphical interface you cannot use your mouse you cannot use your keyboard all you have is a command line and you have to work on this command line the only place the only user interface the linux provides you is the command line so whether you want to create a file inside the linux operating system there is a command to create a file you can use the command touch if you want to create a file with the name test.txt and if you want to see the file that you have created you can use an ls command so i am running the ls command then i can see the file that i have just created so this is similar to creating a file in windows if you have to create a file inside your windows pc you right click and select the option new document and give it some name and that's exactly what touch command will do and if you want to see the file within a folder you just double click on the folder using your mouse right that's what you do on your windows pc then it would show you all the files within that folder in case of linux you will execute this ls command inside a folder then it would show you all the files within that folder now you want to edit this file if you are using a windows pc you would use some editor such as notepad or wet pad or not pad plus plus etc in linux also there are different different editors such as nano vi pico so i'm going to use an editor called nano in linux to edit the file test.txt this is a file test.txt is a file i created before using the touch command i try to edit this file using the nano command and then i write something in here uh, this is a test file so i'm just writing some content inside that and then i can press ctrl x to come out of this editor so press ctrl x then it will ask me do you want to save my modifications i press y and enter and that's it the changes got saved and you know, i am back so uh, today let's not uh, worry much about the linux commands we are going to talk about the linux commands and the best practices so let's not worry about it much this is an overview on how you can log into the remote linux machine and all these commands whatever i am executing here remember it is not running inside your laptop these commands are getting executed on the remote linux machine that you created in the cloud So now you have learned how to log in from your laptop to the remote Linux machine, no matter whether you are using a Windows PC or a Linux or a MacBook, it doesn't really matter from your laptop, you can always SSH into the remote Linux machine and you will get a command line and you can start executing your commands, whatever commands that you need to run. So I'm going to execute my first command, who am I is a Linux command that you can execute. Uh, this Linux command tells you which user you are currently logged in as and I am currently logged in as user Ubuntu. So yes, uh, right in every machine, every laptop, any machine in the world to any operating system you want to log in you always log in as a user when you want to log into your laptop you first you, after you turn on your laptop you provide the username and password to log in. So always you log into a machine as a user. So in my case, yes, I have a machine in AWS and currently I am logged into the machine. And now I am curious which user I am currently working, which user I am currently logged in. So this is a Linux command that will help you find out who you are, I mean, which user you are working as. And it's currently Ubuntu. And if you want to become the root user, there is a root user in every Linux operating system, which is like, 
a administrator user in windows and what i want all of you to do is rather than working as ubuntu you always work as the root at least until you become comfortable with the linux command line it's not a great practice to work as a root user but until you learn the linux command line i strongly suggest you that you become the root user and work as a linux user so as soon as you logged into the remote linux machine this is a command you can execute and this command will let you log in as the root user right now you are logged in as the root user run the command who am i to confirm now you are the root user and root user is a specially privileged user he is a super user so what that means is once you become the root then you can do any commands you want generally you won't get any permission problems you have permission to execute whatever commands you want that's what the root user is all about he is a highly privileged user and it is strongly not suggested that you work as the root user always but until you learn linux it's a good idea that you won't get lot of errors if you work as the root user so work as the root user at least for first couple of days until you become comfortable and then stop working as root because it's not a very good idea so that's pretty about the lab environment and now you have successfully created a machine in the cloud and you logged into the machine from your laptop and most of the time you will find yourself working on the machine more than you work on your laptop right because throughout the training we are going to use the cloud machines a lot to run the labs to set up the devops tools various devops tools that we are going to set up so create your linux machine today and before you go to any courses this is important thank you